Hello, it's Donald Dawson at Donald's Innovations and Repairs. Well, today we're going to do some passivation. We've just completed some stainless steel welding, and that's what it looks like. It's uh, brackets that will uh, create a fixture for housing candy. And um, so what we have to do after welding stainless steel, we have to passivate it in order for the stainless or the chromium, uh, it has to come back to a chromium state. The oxide layer it gets burnt off a little bit and, um, and what happens is you get a brown stain or discoloring of the stainless steel and uh, it will rust in seawater or ordinary water uh, if this is not taken care of. Now, I use an electro-polishing device. It's uh, made by Easy Clean, and it looks like this. Easy Clean Plush Brush. Uh, hopefully you saw that, yeah. And um, it's done by electricity, and uh, just one chemical only. The chemical is a weld cleaning solution and basically it's a, it's a phosphate and like any acid you have to neutralize the acid with the neutralizer and here it is here. So there's the two One's a phosphate acid and one's a neutralizer. If you don't neutralize your work or any of the instruments, uh, stuff corrodes really, really ugly. Uh, it actually grows crystals. So uh, everything has to be neutralized in order to uh, bring the acid to a safe, disposable area um, and after it's neutralized it can actually be washed down the sink it is actually uh, then not um, going to hurt the environment apparently so uh, what we'll do is we'll show you how it's all done um, I have neutralizer in a bottle which I'm going to label and I have a little bit of the um, acid in a, in a glass jar and uh, I'll show you how I'm going to brush the acid onto the stainless steel and you'll see how it creates a bit of a smoke, thus the respirator, thus the eyeglasses, the face shield and gloves and a uh, lab coat because I just don't want to get burnt or uh, ugly spotted messes on my clothing. So here we go. Okay, so from here on in, you'll see me wearing my respirator. So I'll just put that on. It's important that you do a, a fit test with your respirator, otherwise you might be able to smell the uh, stuff and you don't want to do that. Good stuff. Okay. Now, oops. there we are. Make sure, good. Okay, now we turn the instrument on. Yeah, we put up the jar. There we go. And we have the brown on the, uh, the uh, piece of metal. So we dip this little brush into the uh, work here and let it pass over ok 
Okay, uh, what I'll do is I'll show you the differences. Now, you could possibly see the stained pieces versus the ones that were just done. So, see that's now uh, not so stained. A little hard to take a picture by doing it myself. But I think you'll get the idea. What I do to neutralize the uh, acid is I just give this bottle of uh, neutralizer a little spray and it uh, foams up and uh, becomes neutral. So that's how it's done. 